You were captured in a war zone. Not the safest place for civilians to be. Is this the kind of thing you were looking for? Father? Factory and gold, Cassandra. First century. You know what we usually do with tomb robbers and foreign antiquarians? From what we've heard, you do a lot of business with them. Laser sighting, computer micro-targeting, in-flight error correction, and exploding rocket shells. This is a handgun that can outperform a rifle on the battlefield. What exactly are you proposing? Even trade. I know the value of Bactri and gold. This one piece could buy a hundred of those weapons on the open market. Then try the open market. One little pistol won't win me a war. But if the rumors are true, one little pistol is only the beginning. Are they true? It's been closed with the seal of the Bactrian kings. It's the lost tomb of King Catran. The seal's in one piece. The treasures can't have been looted. No, not yet. Your father seems suitably impressed, Miss Newman. We have an important client who is desperate to acquire Bactrian artifacts. This is the tomb of a Bactrian king. What could you possibly offer me for that? How about a weapon beyond your wildest dreams? You couldn't imagine my wildest dreams. What do you know about Red Mercury? Red Mercury? A con trick. An arms dealer's myth. What do you take me for? Red Mercury. One thousandth of a gram. You tell me if it's a myth. Side, please. One thousandth of a gram. We have a client who can supply it by the ton. Miss Newman, we have a deal. gold. A wonderful piece. I'm expecting some equally fine examples in just a few days' time. With full histories of ownership? Of course. Forged documents, I assume. What do you mean? Calm down, Dr. Newman. I know the line of business you're in. It's the reason I'm here. And what line of business would that be? Trading guns for ancient treasure. Rebel armies find burial sites with mine detectors and blow the stuff out of the ground. You help them beat arms embargoes for an immense profit. That's a fantasy. Oh, pity.
I was hoping we could talk further. Old family heirloom. This is the Princess Rosalia. But you may call me Your Highness. <laughs> Be serious, you're like a cup of schoolboys. <laughs> Princess Rosalia. <laughs> He's been telling you all of this. Look at us. We don't know anything about the arms trade. But I assume you're in partnership with someone who does. What exactly have you heard? And more to the point, how many pieces like this would you be able to supply? Hey. Not quite so offended now. It looks like they're going for it. We have a client who is eager to acquire This could be the one, Roland. And I'm All Bureau of Weapons personnel stand by. Our consultants have a lead. What I've heard is, there's no limit to the scale of weapon you can get access to. As for what I'm offering, I'll give whatever it takes. Let's discuss that right now, shall we? That's not. This is real, but she's a fake. This is no family heirloom. I saw this catalogued in Paris in 72. Oh, brilliant. Full marks, Blatty. Look, it looks like you've blown it. This is Blatty. Start the ring. Oh, hey! No! Can you open those doors from here? Bureau of Weapons Technology. This is an official operation. Open from the inside. I'm onto it. That's the panic button. What do we do? Panic! Get out of my now! Okay, now. Temporary path, Bureau of Weapons. How much do they know? Run, Cassandra! Get right away from the building! Come with me! I have to secure the vault! They know about the explosive. They don't. <laughs> no! I'll get him. Oh. You okay? Yeah. What about the woman? If she gets out of the building, there's a bug on her car. Detection to destruction timer. Set. Watch yourself, Ed. He'll bite if he's cornered. Connect timer to building security. Set. Set total destruction sequence. Set. Not another word, sunshine. Oh, guys, you said something up. I don't know what it is. The total destruction sequence has been set. The contents of this vault will be vaporized in four minutes. Vaporized? To suspend the sequence, please evacuate the building. To cancel the sequence, enter the appropriate key code. Vaporize four minutes, guys. Well, what's the point of that? It's saying get out or we'll destroy the evidence. And what evidence? Stolen antiquities? And his trade goods, armaments, weapons. No, he was talking about explosives. Oh. back in there, you'll restart the countdown. Unless you've got the key code to cancel the sequence, in three minutes the whole place will go up. 
with a bang. Like you wouldn't believe. He keeps everything that could incriminate him inside the vault. If we can't get to the evidence, he walks free. If we try and get near the evidence, the evidence is destroyed and he still walks free. But if in this case the evidence happens to be some kind of highly explosive material... Nobody walks. We all fly with our own sets of wings and a harp. Yeah, but all this about explosives in the vault, I mean, it could all be just one big bluff. Of course it could. But who's going to open the door to find out? We've lost either way. What a setup, man. Just like Schrodinger's cat. That's a good way to describe the situation. Philosophy, as well as physique. You're really starting to annoy me, you know that. Now, where's the key that will make this building safer? Is it inside? Daughter's got it. Wrong again. You can search all you like, but you'll never find it. I open the vault, or nobody opens the vault. Take him. Yeah, and don't just search him, Roland. Stick him through a body scanner. What kind of a key are we looking for? I didn't get much chance to see. I think it'll be a digital code sequence, big numbers in some recorded form. Could he memorize them? No. They have to be machine readable. You couldn't input them fast enough. You get one digit wrong and kaboom. I'm relying on you to crack this. Stand and move back. Don't bother with all that. Come, Daniel. I uh, want to give you some advance warning. Some VIP guests are coming to the prison in four hours' time. Oh, how nice for you, sir. <laughs> nice. I'm terrified. They're the new owners. There was a hostile takeover and it came out of nowhere. If I want to keep my job, I've got to make a good impression. How can I be of help? <laughs> I'm going to put you on show as my model prisoner. Tell them how you've been raising pots of cash for our projects and generally redeeming yourself. Hmm? Look busy when you hear us coming. Lots of interesting stuff on the screens. I'll certainly do my best, sir. What's the story with the vault, Ros? Have we got explosives in there or not? There's no way of telling without the key codes. He's created the perfect dilemma, you know. The only way to prove the evidence exists is by destroying it. What's all this business from Ed about a cat? Schrodinger's cat. It's a way of explaining probability. Look. Erwin Schrodinger said, suppose you have a sealed box. Inside the box, you have a cat and a vial of poison. Is the cat alive or dead? You can't know, but what you have is a 50-50 probability. The moment you open the box, the probability collapses. Hmm. And what's the connection? What we have is a sealed vault and a very tight-lipped Dr. Newman. Now, he wants us to think there's a high explosive in there because then we won't risk going back into the building. But he won't confirm it either because that would be an admission of guilt. Just like the cat in the box. All we have is a 50-50 probability. We can't prove anything. If it's evidence you're after. What about this? This ceremonial dagger. Look at the inlay. You know what that is? According to the Bureau's people, it's a niobium alloy. It's a bit more interesting than that, Ros. It's niobium-5. Niobium-5? When you talk about low-temperature superconductors, this stuff is the holy grail. You need a particle accelerator to make it, 
Uh, nobody's cracked how to do it commercially. Beckett, this is over 2,000 years old. At least. Oh, and, um, by the way, your cat is definitely dead. You can't know that. Sealed box. How's it going to breathe, eh? Hey, guys. Look what I found wandering the streets. And guess what? He brought us something. But, uh, we've identified Newman's client, a General Malik. He leads an army of 3,000 men in a region where you've got five different factions all struggling for power. He fancies himself. What's his agenda? He's in this country right now, officially to lecture on desert warfare at his old military college. Well, I don't see a warlord taking time off to give lecture tours somehow. It's obviously a cover. In three days' time, all the other factions are set to meet in the capital to cover up the region between them and leave Malik's tiny army exactly nowhere. He's here to pick up his equaliser. And if he can get back and use it in exactly 72 hours' time. No peace accord? No conference chamber. No competition. Have you traced Cassandra Newman yet? I'm getting a fix on a car. Governor Holstock? No calls. I'm expecting an important visitor. Welcome. Thank you. I've been expecting you. Now, what would you like to know? Everything. I'm keen to know everything about the way our new acquisition operates. When did the company change hands? At four o'clock this afternoon. And my contract? It's under review. These were given to me on the handover. I understand they're the master codes that control all the security measures in the prison. Where are they used? Right here. If I need to, I can control everything from this office. I can shut the place right down. Or open it right up? That would be rather irresponsible, Miss... What do you do? Just insert the cards in the slots? Please, when do I get to know how I stand? I think you'd better ask the new owner himself. But when does he get here? Around about now. I wonder if the key code really is in Cassandra's car. We'll soon find out. We're very close. Hey, check it out. Built-in lead shielding. Wonder what she's been carrying. How does that work? This, this, uh, this works on the same principle as Einstein's dog. Einstein's dog? 
Yeah, Einstein's dog. You never heard Einstein's dog? No. Yeah, yeah, I thought everybody had heard Einstein's dog. What's it telling us? There are traces of some mercury-based compound the scanner doesn't recognise. As well as the very distinctive signature of Californium-252. Radioactive. That explains the lead lining. I mean, this is really scary stuff. What do you think they're trying to put together? Governor, as you can see, I had another use for the money. You took my trust. And bought my prison. And I had to outbid two big crime syndicates in competition for the deal. I assume I just do this. Listen, I stop that. It's an abuse of the system. I'm creating a protected corridor. We can walk out, and no guard can reach us. Everything set up with General Malik. He assures us he has a container full of artifacts. He's just waiting for us to deliver the red mercury. Well, boys and girls, I think we're ready for the resumption of hostilities. General's in a serious hurry. Lectures weren't that short in my day. You drive like a man. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Not in the case of the man I have in mind. Yeah, Beckett. How's General Malik? We skipped his lecture. We didn't Keep mind. What do you know about Californium 252? Apart from its obvious radioactivity, it has a tendency towards spontaneous fission. The Newmans have been handling it, along with another mercury based compound that the scanner can't seem to identify. Mercury? Red mercury? That's one of the great myths of the international arms market. Ros, red mercury? Tell me more. Well, on its own, it's supposed to be a dense, high explosive, but put it together with other ingredients, and it becomes the trigger for a pure neutron bomb. These other ingredients include Californium-252 by any chance? Californium would enrich the neutron burst. You'd get massive killing power from the radiation, but there wouldn't be much destruction of buildings. Which means that Malik could sterilize the capital while all of his enemies are around the table, then come down out of the mountains and take over. That is, if Red Mercury exists. The only way to find that out is for us to open the vault, yeah? Ross, he'd have less than three days to build a bomb. It's not that hard. I could probably build you one in two. Watch out! Ross. Textbook pursuit. My driver was completely unaware of you. However, I never travel without my backup. Out. Put them in the van. Roz? Roz, are you okay? Roz? What do you think's going on? They're stopping to meet some. Shall 
Jean-Daniel. I can believe your surprise. So few of those you cross ever seem to manage to survive. Like my late brother. But don't worry. You'll get the chance to serve his memory. In fact, I'm going to insist upon it. If this goes well, my antiquities will make you a very rich man. My red mercury will make you a very powerful one. Nobody loses. Except for the casualties of war. When do we sail? On the morning tide. I have plans for Miss Henderson. Don't worry, Mr. Blatty. I have a use for you, too. The destruction sequence has recommenced at 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Please re-evacuate the building. To cancel the sequence, enter the appropriate key code. They must be inside. glass and went straight through. Hey, look what she's using. It's a laser sight. Watch your eyes, Ed. It's not my eyes I'm worried about. If those are exploding shells, how long before she thinks about firing one into the fuel tank? Get her attention. Okay. What? Our fix. Oh, we'll just have to fix it again. Well, come on, Ed, find me something. Come on! What about this? Get what here. 45 seconds. Time is getting tight. I know. 30 seconds. I think our sniper lady will be blinded for. It's impossible to say, Ed. She was using a magnifying sight. That can be like looking at the sun through binoculars. I was just wondering how much time we had.
If anyone tries to rush me or even gives me a surprise, your good friend here gets a permanent cure for a headache. Can't rely on an old stunt like that for long. I won't have to. Tell them. He's left Roland downstairs with a mine attached to him, and it's ticking. Go on, you're his only chance. Tick tock. Resistant. You can't knock these ones out electronically. I cut my baby teeth diffusing these. Can you do one in about uh, 30 seconds? Oh, no. I could do two. What's the matter? Nothing. It's just too easy, man. I can't figure out why. I just want to make it so easy to deal with. I don't understand at all. I miss it's just a... Temporary distraction, Beckett! Go! He'll think this has worked, and he's killed us. Question is, what's he going to do next? All I know is that the Red Mercury's going to go out by sea this morning in less than two hours' time. What's wrong? I can't see too well. Change places with me. Wait. I know what you're going to do. If it's anyone, it ought to be me. Please. Let me see. Look up. I thought I was just dazzled. It is just temporary, isn't it? Hush, child. This is difficult enough. Insects eat their young. I leave you here to mourn and recuperate. You'll be here in front of me. Are you getting this? Yeah, you almost blasted the wax out of my ears. Sorry. Uh, what can you see? Tell Roland. I think I found his van. Hiding a high explosive in the middle of a cargo of toxic waste. 
Elegant, no? It's an excellent cover. Once you've bribed the right inspectors, who else wants to get too close? You'll never make it to the open sea. <gasps> she speaks. Why is that, Miss Henderson? Hmm? Because your friends are going to come riding to the rescue? They're gone. You helped. Better get used to that. Marine Commander putting out a sea blockade. Tell Ed he's not to do anything until my people are in place on the dockside. Uh, did you get that, Ed? Uh, John Daniel's got Roz, and we're not to do anything until Roland's people turn up. Did you copy that, Ed? Ed? I've watched you all for a long time. I came to know you better than you know yourselves. They're dead, and you're here because that's exactly the way I planned it. For what? Revenge? I'm above revenge. <laughs> There's no percentage in it. No, Miss Henderson, you're alive because you're part of my deal with General Malik. You're going to build him a bomb. Is that the scheme? Shoot me now, it ain't gonna happen. There are ways. Where's my payment? Over here. All ready for you to drive away. I selected only the purest pieces. What do you mean? Just the gold. I left the grey material behind. What? I think you've disappointed him, General. It looked cheap. I left it in the tomb. Niobium-5 alloy, isn't it? What do you know about Niobium? Is she okay? Don't interfere now, Maggot. I'm very grateful for everything you've done, but you people do have a tendency to take things over. Oh, yeah? So what's your big master plan then, eh, Roland? Attention, General Alec. This is Roland Blatty. I am in command of this vessel in the name of the Bureau of Weapons Technology. You have five minutes to lay down your arms and come ashore. You've really got them where you want them now, haven't you? What would you suggest? Mr. Blatty, this is General Malik. I thought you might be interested in hearing the terms you're about to accept. Give me that thing. General, with all due respect, I think you're in no position to negotiate. I rather think I am. You see, I have a van load of highly explosive red mercury and enough toxic waste packed around it to contaminate half the city. Now, if I choose to detonate one inside of the other, say hello to your worst nightmare. Yeah, there's one little problem with that. You'll all die. We're all soldiers for the cause, prepared to die at any time. Release Miss Henderson first and then we'll talk. Oh, that would be clever of me, wouldn't it? Either you let us on our way, or this land of yours will become a lot less green and a lot less pleasant. He's got to be bluffing. I mean, surely that toxic waste is protected. Not against a van load of red mercury. Those containers will disintegrate and spread lethal pollution everywhere. I want 
the alloy, not the gold. You've not fulfilled your part of the deal you promised me, the niobium. We'll discuss this later. John Danielle just became a liability. Shoot him. Sir. I'm stuck. Malik's coming. Well, Miss Henderson, it appears I may have to carry out my suicide ultimatum. <laughs> That's madness. Oh, I know. But an empty threat is no threat at all. So, I suggest you contact your people and convince them that this is no bluff. Tell them if they refuse, I'll be firing an exploding shell into the Red Mercury in 90 seconds. Ed, get it started. Beckett. Beckett, can you hear me? Roz, what's your situation? <laughs> that would take far too long to explain. Jean-Daniel wasn't after the gold at all. No, he wanted the Niobium-5. For what? You tell me. All we know for sure is that he didn't get his hands on any. Not yet. Yeah, well, in the meantime, I'd really like to hear about this Schrodinger's cat. Eh? Schrodinger's cat, in detail. Well, Mr. Schrodinger, that's... Neville Schrodinger, he lives next door to me. He's got this cat. Very quiet, you never know whether it's in or out. How much detail do you want? What are you talking about, Ed? I thought it was something to do with probability theory. Well, it may well be, but... how would I know about that? Anyway, what we'd like to know about is Einstein's dog. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ros, are you sure you want this off? Why? Well, I don't know. I mean... I think it makes rather a nice charm bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> 